What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. For those of you who are new to the channel, I am your host, Rashid White. All right, as everyone can actually see with the title on the screen there, well, well actually on the thumbnail, <laughs> that Steve Nash should be the coach of the year. And I get it. Monty Williams has a real, real good case of it. I mean, they're the number one seed in the whole entire NBA but we got to look at the adversity that Steve Nash actually had to endure. And there's a lot of Brooklyn Nets fans that are going to really disagree with me. And, and I'm a Nets fan by, you know, by, by, by nature in a sense. So I've been watching the team since uh, 1995 there. All right. So we'll get into like the whole rotations thing this is what i hear from jay williams and mainstream uh uh sports media it's like a lot of these guys don't know what the hell they're even talking about here so you gotta look at the whole sabotage of of uh of james harden let's look into that and what he actually had to deal with uh him not actually being fully committed was a big deal and him actually walking the ball up the court instead of pushing the basketball I mean, there was just so many things with James Harden, him not actually coming into camp in shape, uh, him not really wanting to be there, him saying that Philadelphia was his first choice all along and not being committed. We got to look at all the injuries that they actually had, the vax, uh, uh, the vaccine issues with uh with Kyrie Irving and him not being able to play. You got to look at Joe Harris and and uh him not actually you know him being done for the season pretty much and having to i mean this is so much i mean didn't get in trying to get ben simmons and then learning that he's not able to actually play um possibly out for the season i don't think that's even you know it, it, it may or may not be true who knows we'll see uh i wouldn't you know tell anybody what the hell's going on anyway <laughs> But um, the main thing, yes, the Kevin Durant injury was a big thing. Uh, one month, they were actually, before Kevin Durant actually went down, they were number one. And that's without Kyrie Irving and out of shape James Harden and Joe Harris not actually being there. So let's get into Steve Nash with the, with the rotations. What the hell do you want the man to do? If you, you know, and I hear a lot of people say, okay, next man up. But if the next man up can't duplicate what, let's say, Joe Harris does, then what what, what do you want Steve Nash to actually do? So the fact that they actually, you know, 99% chance, I don't think they lose to Indiana on Sunday. But, uh, well, actually, this is a uh, Saturday this morning at 123 so tomorrow in a sense though they should actually secure the seventh seed this this is a team that was actually uh, uh vegas actually had to win the championship so yeah and look at the lakers look what look what they actually been through lebron james missing 20 something 25 uh 28 something games uh you had anthony davis missing a chunk of games and just look all the you know and look and they couldn't even make the damn the damn playoffs so for steve nash to actually proclaim the seventh seed there and we'll actually see what happens before as far as regular season <laughs> it definitely goes to steve nash you know monty williams didn't have to go through any adversity i know you had cp3 that got hurt but I mean, that's the adversity that Brooklyn actually had. I know I'm repeating myself, but the Brooklyn Nets went through a lot. I mean, you could say they actually went through five different seasons. Five different seasons in a sense, though. No training camp, really, <laughs> to even integrate the new... Uh, I mean, the team was so decimated. They had Andre Drummond. <laughs> Andre Drummond, Nicholas Claxton, and James Johnson in the lineup together i mean it's really 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 kind of hard to actually win with a lineup like that because they can't shoot now they provide no floor spacing whatsoever and all teams got to really do is just sag back 
in the paint, you know, and force those guys to actually beat you. But, and listen, what's his name? Dragic was actually highly coveted by a lot of different teams. And he got him. Hey, he got him. So, yeah, Steve Nash is my coach of the year. I don't give a damn. I don't give a shit what sports media actually have to say, like Fox Sports and Stephen A. Smith and and uh, <laughs> um, a whole bunch of those other guys out there, man. Let me know what you actually think in the comment section down there. Do you actually concur whether Steve Nash is the actual coach of the year, being that what he actually went through, all the ups and downs? All right. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Certainly share this video. When you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace.